friends are remembering actor James Michael Tyler, known for his role as Gunther. Tyler died Sunday morning from prostate cancer. He was 59 years old. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Friends cast members and fans are mourning the loss of James Michael Tyler. Best known for his role as Gunther in the hit sitcom after he passed away at the age of 59. From reasons behind the actor's sudden passing to heartfelt tributes by his co-stars, here's what we know about James Tyler's death. But first, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. Without further ado, let's get started. Number 5. The Tragic News According to the statement from his representatives, James Michael Tyler passed away peacefully at his LA home on Sunday, 24th October, just months after opening up about his prolonged battle against prostate cancer. The world knew him as Gunther, the seventh friend, but Michael's loved ones knew him as an actor, musician, cancer awareness advocate, and loving husband, his manager stated. If you met him once, you made a friend for life. The friend star was reportedly diagnosed with advanced prostate cancer back in 2018, which later spread to his bones and eventually took his life. James Michael Taylor, who played Central Perk's Gunther, died from prostate cancer. He was 59 years old. Number 4. An incredible character. Despite not being one of the main characters on Friends, Tyler's character of Gunther was acknowledged and appreciated in its own way even after the show's 10-year-long run. Every fan of the hit sitcom remembers Gunther as the quirky Central Perk manager whose unrequited love for Rachel and intentionally flat dialogue delivery was nothing short of memorable. Because of his crush on Rachel, who also worked at the popular coffee house during the show's early seasons, Gunther used to get passive-aggressive with Ross, but in the most hilarious way possible. Even 27 years after the show first aired, Tyler was still beloved by millions of fans around the world and was often called the seventh friend due to his recurring appearance and his contribution to the comedic plot of Friends. Out of 236 episodes from the show's 10 seasons, Gunther's character appeared in 150 of them, which is sufficient to prove that the series probably wouldn't be the same without him. Fans last saw James on the much-awaited Friends reunion, which aired on HBO Max in May. Due to his health concerns, the actor joined the rest of the cast members via Zoom. It was the most memorable 10 years of my life, honestly, he said at the time. I could not have imagined just a better experience. All these guys were fantastic and just a joy to work with. It felt very, very special. The, uh, the characters are kind of archetypes, and that we all know people like these characters, and they're relatable, we can relate to their foibles. Number 3. Jennifer Aniston's Heartfelt Tribute Following the tragic news of Tyler's death, all of his friends' co-stars paid heartfelt tributes to the cherished character. For starters, Jennifer Aniston shared an Instagram post that included a picture of the late actor from the iconic Friends set and a clip from the latest episode when Gunther finally declares his love for Rachel before she turns him down gently. Friends would not have been the same without you. Thank you for the laughter you brought to the show and to all of our lives. You will be so missed, James Michael Tyler, the actress captioned the post with a broken heart emoji. Courtney Cox, who played the clean freaked chef Monica on the show, wrote her own social media post which said, the size of gratitude you brought into the room and showed every day on set is the size of the gratitude I hold for having known you. Rest in peace, James. James Michael Tyler, passing away this weekend after a three year long battle with prostate cancer. Number two, other co-stars say goodbye. Lisa Kudrow, who we all know as the unforgettable Phoebe Buffay, also said goodbye to the deceased actor in these words. James Michael Tyler, we will miss you. Referencing a line from the Friends theme song, she added, Thank you for being there for us all. Matt LeBlanc went down the memory lane too and shared a picture of his character Joe and Gunther talking at Central Perk. We had a lot of laughs, buddy, he posted. You will be missed. Rest in peace, my friend. David Schwimmer, aka Ross, wrote a few lines in Tyler's memory as well, thanking him for playing such a wonderful, unforgettable role and for being such a big-hearted gentleman and all-around mensch off-screen. You will be missed, buddy, he concluded. It's obvious that James's loss was something that shook the entire Friends crew, and the actors weren't the only ones mourning the death of their former co-star. As soon as the tragic news started making headlines, the official Friends Twitter account posted, Warner Brothers Television mourns the loss of James Michael Tyler, a beloved actor and integral part of our Friends family. Our thoughts are with his family, friends, colleagues, and fans. 
Number one, acting career and other contributions. Apart from his role on Friends, James Michael Tyler also starred in Modern Music, Scrubs, and even returned to his iconic character on an episode of Matt LeBlanc's 2012 show, Episodes. Despite battling prostate cancer, Tyler gave an impressive performance in two short films for which he also won awards at film festivals. His spoken word performance of Stefan Kalinich's poem, If You Knew, from 2016, was adapted into a short video to raise awareness for the Prostate Cancer Foundation earlier this year. Tyler this summer, when he appeared by video during the Friends reunion special on HBO Max, he fondly remembered his time on the show. And that brings us to the end of this video. Make sure to hit the like button and do check out the two videos on your screen. See you next time.